People in Portage County are calling for the chair of the county's Land and Water Conservation Committee to be removed following what many say was a code of conduct violation at a meeting. Our own Jake Force spoke with several people close to the situation today and has more. Jake? That's right. People I spoke with believe David Peterson, who currently serves as the chair of the Porridge County Land and Water Conservation Committee, has put agricultural interests above the growing need to address high nitrate levels in the well water of Nelsonville. In a heated exchange during a county board meeting in September, Peterson repeatedly denied these claims. Today, I spoke with several people close to the issue about how it got to this point and what comes next. We care about this because of the pu public health consequences, because of the um, you know, risks of thyroid disease and various types of cancer. Amid rising concerns of high nitrate levels in the groundwater of Nelsonville, some Portage County residents have voiced frustration towards the county's Land and Water Conservation Committee. They feel the committee is prioritizing agriculture over safe drinking water. At a meeting in September, Conservation Chair David Peterson repeatedly downplayed these concerns in a heated exchange with George Kraft an emeritus professor of water resources at UW Stevens Point. Kraft was addressing information presented by the Conservation Committee from the previous meeting that he believed to be misleading. Peterson's response from September's meeting has some calling for him to be ousted from his position. I, I control this, and this is the way it was. It was taken care of internally. Correct. Does anybody yep. else understand this? No. No. We're left un unknowing about what the the rationale was there, except maybe to squash uh, unfavorable information. Kraft says the evidence of polluted drinking water is overwhelming and that the matter would be long over if it were being handled in court. But we're in a political process uh, here where agricultural interests dominate and they're you know, continuing to kick this uh, can down the road. Peterson later said during the meeting that farmers take precedent over scientists. Nelsonville resident Lisa Anderson said she has multiple farmers in her family, but that Peterson being a farmer himself is proof that the committee needs to change. They put farmers on this committee who are out right obstructing uh, any kind of accountability. We need people who prioritize uh, safe drinking water, which, you know, half the residents of this village don't have right now. New Hope Town Supervisor Ray Reeser says Peterson's outburst was not uncommon and that the Conservation Committee has previously thwarted a number of concerns brought by both residents and qualified experts. His behavior, as you saw in the video, yelling at George, that's not an isolated instance. We have some really stellar county staff working on this, and yet we have this single committee, <clears throat> which has really been a roadblock to progress. The Portage County Board's Executive Operations Committee will decide tomorrow whether or not to recommend consequences for Peterson's conduct to the entire board. It's important to note, too, that Newswatch 12 reached out to Peterson for comment on Friday and again this morning, neither of which received a response.